This is a rock that's estimated to be about uh, 50 to 60 meters across, so the size of a jumbo jet. And it's a size comparable to the asteroid that uh, hit in Tunguska in Russia in uh, the early 1900s. So if it were to happen over a populated area, it could do a lot of destruction. The most likely outcome is that it will not hit, and so nobody's panicking yet. Um, and the, we're in the process of, um, not us, but other organizations that are affiliated with planetary defense, and just starting to think about if that probability continues to go up, then how do we deal with this problem? This is a warning for us as, as scientists and researchers uh, that we should put uh, a lot of attention on this subject in order to gather as many observations as possible in order to um, ascertain the trajectory of the subject with, with the highest accuracy possible. So what we are expecting is that uh, by uh, April or, or the latest May, with the observations from the James Webb Space Telescope, uh, we have uh, roughly a 90% probability of removing this object from the impact risk. However, there is still a 10% probability that this object will remain in the risk list after May, uh, in which case we would only be able to see it again in, uh, in the spring of 2028, and uh, only then we we would know whether it would be an impacting trajectory or not. But today, what we can say is that we have 98% probabilities of the object not impacting the Earth in 2032.